tell me anything you know about lives is killer. And if we catch you hiding him, there will be consequences. And also, to anyone that finds him and brings him here, we'll receive a reward. Great, Tim. I suggest talking to the blind prophet to find the answer. Come, Tiresias. You must see the pain my people are facing. You are our last hope. I'm telling you, it's better if I stay quiet. What? You don't want to tell us? It's to save our own city. Oedipus, you don't want to know. It's for your own good. You're an old, useless blind man. I'm asking you for the safety of our city and you want to keep it a secret. I am the king and I demand you to tell me. If I say it, you'll not believe me, but the murderer is you. You think this is some, some type of a joke? I would never lie to you. You and your family have done yes. some sinful things. And I told you it was best for you not to lie. Now, I know you're lying. He's actually blind. I know you're lying. This is some sort of plan to take away my throne. Crayon called you, didn't he? This is all a plan to frame me. Crayon? You think Crayon did this? You are your own worst enemy. Of course Crayon did this. He was supposed to be my friend, but this whole time, he was jealous of me. He brought you here to make a fool out of me and take my place as the rightful king. Don't be surprised if your plan backfires and I tell everyone you're a fraud. Oedipus, there's a conflict between you and Tiresias, but what we want to know is what the gods have planned. Think what you want, Oedipus, but I am Apollo's servant, and what I say is the truth. You were left a mouth to throne by your parents because of the prophecy given by Apollo that you were bound to kill your father and marry your mother. Enough, you've crossed the line. Go home, you're not welcome. I'll leave, but everything I said was true, and when the time comes, you will realize the prophecy is never wrong.